Oh, hi, and welcome back to 24 to hit. We're all back again. Off the, off the back of the lovely, lovely pleasure palace that I hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> Let's just recap. You all got sucked into Gerard's mystical pocket dimension. He has set up as his own little house. And the uh, Bartholomew Haraldson has gone in and messed with his shit. Turning his lovely ruby statues of very familiar to some of you faces against you, which you quickly dispatched, being, well, statues. You moved on to different rooms as the uh, Pleasure Palace got randomized. First room, one of the people got punched in the dick. In the box. <laughs> the box. Moving on, you got to, I think it was the bar next, where one dead eye got absolutely trashed. Uh, next room was the yes. library, wasn't it? Yes, the cringe cat. The cringe cat, yes, yeah, because really nice instead of the little, you have to make it cringe out of existence. Love that. I think that was my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we never speak of that again. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, and there's a whole knot of other guys. Yes. We then faced off against an immortal red dragon, which you promptly put back into its shackles after a choice drawing from the deck of many things. <laughs> I did not know what it was doing. Oh, you know what the deck of many things are. <laughs> Yoga did not. Like I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You then uh, went into, what was the next room there? I believe it was the... No, the uh, the the trophy room, that was it. With the monkey on it. Oh yes, tell the monkey oh, yeah. not to say monkey, have the gorilla not say monkey. Okay. Yeah, and, okay. and Malazar fixed that quite quickly. <laughs> and worked it out. Oh dear. And then you went, <laughs> went on to my favourite. Gerard's personal and sex dungeon. Yeah. But you yeah. bought the 12 foot tall uh, magically uh, uh, sex robot. We also figured out what a pillow princess was. Making your way on to the control room. Finally, Gerard happy. Gerard passed through. Room greeted him warmly like it does every other time because, of course, he's a conceited asshole and everything has to, you know, speak to him. But it also responded to someone else, and that's where we left off. As Garad swings around to look at Karu with a weird eye, that's weird. Who are your parents? But you're telling me you're an orphan. Well, are the druids your parents? Are there the other red horny fellas? No, I'm the only teacher. Hmm, that's strange. I've been around a while. I probably had many, many children. You're probably a grandchild. Probably descended. Who cares? Oh, <laughs> I can. Have you a child? Child, didn't you know that she's my child. <laughs> Dad, 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 A lesson in using protection at a brothel. <laughs> Maybe you're his child. Maybe you're his grandchild. You well, never know. Is, is there any way for me to find this out? I don't know my family. Well, unless someone here can analyze blood. We what? Blood, <laughs> I'm thinking everyone looks at the creepy old man in the corner. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> say blood. <laughs> Oh, of, co of course you can, can't you? <laughs> Very well. And he uh, pricks his finger and what do you want to do? Just dangling the <laughs> Molotov. Dangling it? 
Yeah, like like he's got a like pricked his finger and he's got like a drop of blood. Can I lick it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you lick it, he kind of like puts it in your mouth a bit more stuff. <laughs> like that vibe. It's Garad. He'll do anything. Is that... And are you casting Analyze Block? Yeah. And at what level? Yeah, I am. I uh, can only do it at second level. What does that allow you to discern? Um, not much, to be honest. I may gain additional information from the blood you analyze by channeling more energy in the spell. Um, at second level, I only know the creature who shed the blood's type, <laughs> monstrosity, undead, humanoid, etc. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about third level? I don't have any spell slots. Yeah, but if you had spell slots, just saying. I know if it carries any diseases or poisons. <laughs> and he pulls it out. So, yeah, you know that he is, um, yeah, he's humanoid with a bit of, like, fiend in him, of course, being a tiefling. And you know it belongs to Garad. Yeah. Probably a lot of diseases <laughs> in that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not, like, sculling vodka. <laughs> I'd say you also get a little bit extra... Gorad is actually insanely old somehow, some way. You can't pinpoint exactly how old, but he's much older than you are. Probably much older than, well, Alan. As Gorad pulls his little finger out, so. Well, that seemed a bit pointless. Maybe you'll be able to tell you in time. But I don't know. I've never seen this woman in my life. And I've never seen you, but apparently your group knows me. So right. that means something. There's probably another what gaggle of people that could walk through that door that probably would as well. Doesn't the room talk? Can the room tell us? Oh, room! <laughs> <laughs> the room has a query. <laughs> then I'll like point at Karoo, point at Karoo, and be like, go on! <laughs> Hello, I'm still, I'm, I'm still a little bit cooked. <laughs> well, there's one thing. You've learned your last name, at least. We all go back. <laughs> yes, Nibian is the first, but the disgusting. Karad seems a bit more. I mean, we could find out. Maybe this spells. Hmm. Sorry. Will you help me? To be honest, I'm not really that interested. I know you're not, but we've done so much to help you and I. Uh, getting a little fiery in the <laughs> <laughs> Get a little flame. Well, I'm just sitting there going, yes, <laughs> help the child. It's a child in Paris, these structures. There's nothing I can do until tomorrow. I'd have to study my spell book. And, and he goes over and he's like, right, control. Has Haraldson been in here? She's like, no, nobody of that name has been in this room. Excellent. Shut down lockdown protocols, please. The lights all shut off. You go... Thing rise up with the boom. And the cameras all come back on. You see the ruby statues form back into their statues. Uh, the vomit get, and piss gets sucked out of them. <laughs> Can we hear like, the window sign? Yeah. Does the windows music go do 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 do? Yeah, I'd say <laughs> the, the windows boot up music. <laughs> I'm already. Uh, a gnome gets ejected from a, from a chest and just disappears. Clipboard <laughs> says, looks like you're trying to do a full A sphinx forms back out of nothing. There's still a dejected um, uh, dragon just chained to the floor. You can see that oh, yeah, one eye is looking up towards the camera. And a sex robot reforms and sits back down on the bed. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Let me show you the Pleasure Palace in all its glory. As he goes back to the control room door, opens it up, and it's now the main hall from where you came into. The ruby statues lining the walls of the familiar faces that you now know. Um, but now, filing into the room are scantily clad spectral tiefling people, male and female, all standing there, ready to go. 
shirts, the men wearing a spo tie, the women in skimpy maid outfits. It's like, the help is back. And he comes into the room, he sits down in this big bean chair that just rises up out of the floor. He's like, Takes his fingers, the table fills with a great feast. He's like, ah, I'm home. Please come sit. I believe rewards are in order. Yes, yes thank you. As you sit down at the table, um, your favourite food appears in front of you. Dagna. Who does this sound about what you're paid for? No. Um, I don't know. Maybe a dish your wife makes? Dish your wife. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. A good wolf stew appears in front of you. Wolf stew with a wolf leg and I'm sat next to on it. Yeah. Uh, so some fresh uh, younger venison and deer, roasted potatoes, uh, anything extremely gamey that I would have hunted, uh, prepared in the same way that my father would have made for me hunting um, <laughs> earlier in my backstory. Guy. <laughs> Uh, trash hot dog. Oh man, <laughs> oh. I love me a trash hot dog. <laughs> Peru. Oh, that looks delicious. Piece of things on. Vegetable stew, excellent. Yeah, do it like the druids make. Yeah, Alana. I'm trying to think about what's to my own. Um, I'm so like real beef. Fancy, fancy, like high class elven dude. Oh, yeah, like just like it's the yeah. most well prepared <laughs> peasant. Yeah, and it's like the presentation is just immaculate. Oh, perfect. Yeah, just. And just... there's like some like, 785 year old elven wine. Oh, just beers out of existence. Molaza. Yeah. Blood. What food appears in front of you? Your favourite food. Why do I feel it's just a bottle of dirty vodka? <laughs> it's called pit water. Food? Yeah. That, Molza isn't phased by food, though. It's not like a... He just eats whatever he gets. It's not a favourite. It's just he does it because he has to. He gets some kind of stale bread. <laughs> can't taste anything. <laughs> Yeah, it's a loaf of bread. It's just, it's just, it's just thingy, something. Eh. Your eyes are safe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I, um, if so, anything that pops up, I think of, will it appear? Yeah. Can I, it's just can, a magic can I, in my mind, think of like the hottest sauce in existence and try and slide a hand somewhere on the just to see if I can make it taste? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, out of existence, just. Like, buddy, Carolina Reaper, like, hot sauce, just appears. Make a side of hand check. Well, you make a perception check against it. Um, it's a natural 16 or a 16. And that's a natural 18. Um, it's 25. <laughs> <laughs> can you get that? You can. I cannot get that. I got an 18. Oh, sorry. 18. So you don't, you're not phased, you look away for a second and you just like onto the bread. You eat it. Um, constitution saving throw, Molotov. Saving throw? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a 15. It's a bit spicy, like you're feeling. But yeah, your taste buds what? burnt out long ago. Yeah. You, you, you seem to visibly be like, mm. Okay, That's, no, different. That's different. That's <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah, I'll do nothing else. I'll, I'll get back to my meal. No, man. That's going to soak soaking me up a bit. <laughs> you see one of the, the spectral servants walk in with what seems to be a big chest and just plonks it down in front of Garad, who's now got like several bottles of wine in front of him. It's like, excellent. All right. I did say you get to pick up what you wanted, but I could also better. I've seen how you work. I think I've tailored something quite nice for each of you. He opens up this chest and he's like, Excellent, okay. Who first, who first? Ah, Alana. He pulls out what looks to be 
this big metal gauntlet. And he's like, <laughs> in front of you. He's like, chuck that on your arm. I instantly do it. <laughs> you put it on, it's like, <laughs> you see it wrap around. He's like, okay, okay. Now, you there. And there's just this uh, tiefling man. He's just like, yes, sir. Go stand by the door. Runs over and he stands there. He's like, right. Raise your fist up at him like this. <laughs> Rockets jet out of the side and your fist flies up and just punches this guy in the face. Iron Man put men in the rocket glove. But watch this, watch this. And you see like there's a stellar ring around your wrist. And you, as you're holding out your hand, this thing just goes from limp on the floor to <laughs> back to you across the floor. <laughs> My dear, that is an like arcane that. propulsion arc. You should be able to find that in the items. It was a prosthetic arc, but I've made it a glove for you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Also, so, boomerang! <laughs> we can use it for many things. I've seen a guy oh, grab a rope and shoot it. Great. It came back to me. There you go. I feel like that's perfectly tied in for you. Thank you. No worries. Crew, my dear. Don't be mad. We'll find out. Hey, I probably have plenty of grandchildren. But don't let granddaddy say he didn't give you anything. And he pulls up this beautiful red cloak and he wraps it around you, ties it in. It's like red riding cloak. Like that is a cape of the month of us. It will allow you to cast Dimension Door once a day, allowing you to teleport 500 yards with one other person as you wrap it. Can get you out of trouble. See, I don't want my relatives to die. Thanks. You happy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, ah, guy. As I stated, you were in the same thing, the same boat as these fellas. It's something really nice for you. Comes over with another cloak. This one black, it's sleek. And he flips it over over your shoulders and clasps it up. And he flips the hood up. There's two little ears that pop up the top. So, now grab the sides. This is the cloak of the bat. <laughs> It'll allow you to glide and hover and disappear into the night like Elf. Yes, yeah, so you've got Batman's cloak. Uh, I also take one of the rest bottles of wine. He's like, yeah, yeah, and another one just appears in its face. Disappear into the shadows of the room just to play in the cloak. <laughs> <laughs> back goes on, back goes on. <laughs> I'm Charles Caruso. I'm the night. Uh, I'm not the I'm Monte Bank. I'm day. I'm day. Monte <laughs> Bank. Monte Bank. M O U N T E B A N K. Monte Bank. Yeah, uh, Mr. Dead Eye. Yes. <laughs> I see you already kitted out with things that can make you disappear. And he pulls out these beautiful boots, I puts them down. So, like, put those on. Pick off my old dusty boots that are still the vestiges of um, when I was in my previous life and put the new boots on. Now right. stand up, click your heels together. Oh, I did my best Dorothy Wizard of Oz since I told you. Run around the table. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, absolutely, I'm, I'm gonna double dash too, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you've never run it this fast in your life, you have the boots of speed. It's <laughs> <laughs> good fun. <laughs> <laughs> that should make you uh, a bit more interesting. You've literally just made like, dirty like Batman, and I'll be like the Flash Batman. Hi. Well, we've got Batman with the Flash, we're making the Justice League apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He pulls out this little, little red vial. He's like, well, this is for Nixa when she gets back from whatever she's doing for me. Kind of interesting. Blood Bowl vial. I'll tell you more about that. Training. Oh, Mr. Orkman. Yes. You were actually quite hot. I had a few weapons in my arms. I saw you struggle a bit with trying to kill some of my more arcane constructs, and I thought, you know what's perfect? And he pulls from his belt the sword he used and hands it to you. Oh, hell yeah, I take that. 
I give you my blade flame top. Hold it up and say the word ignis and it will ignite in the flame. I'll just go up that way. Yes. Yes. Now we have we can have roast cheese more. That should help you kill a few more things. I'm gonna start waving around like crazy. <laughs> yes. Fire sword. <laughs> Perfect. Molotov. I believe you and I came to another arrangement. We sure did. <laughs> I'll uh, sort that out for you later. Don't you worry. Ah, oh, you no, must leave me in suspense. Well, I have to get ready. Friends, eat up. Have your fill. And tonight you can stay here with me. My magical pleasure. <laughs> My magical pleasure pal will accommodate you with rooms of your own design for your night sleep tonight. But until then, enjoy. Partake. And I need to figure out what I'm going to do with old Barty Harrelson when I get out of here. Here's this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have better plans. I feel like uh, old Dragon Boy needs a plaything. I like that. You can come into my wow. house and mess with my Very shit. I'll, liver on a rock. I'll take yeah. um, that opportunity to inform him and start pulling out the random pieces that I have of the family crest that I stole. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this might help. Can I keep the bird's head? I want to keep the, 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 the head of it. I want to give it to Barry. Oh, you can keep as much as you like. That is amazing. Oh, Hang that up in the treasury. Also, um, they, while we were inside his uh, home, we may have found some other items or things that may be to your advantage if the oh. price is right. Price. <laughs> <laughs> we've done the we've done the job. If it's anything more, and I'll just flash out one of the documents that I took from that locked chest. Just one. <laughs> you sneaky bastard. All right. What do you want? Um, I'll look at, obviously, you. I'll, I'll be nice. I'm just like, obviously, you're a very powerful enchanter and creative, you know, magical needs. I'll kind of like click my boots together real quickly and just like. I am speed around the table. <laughs> I've got one more charge for the day, I believe. That's uh, 10 minutes. Oh, I was just ready. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah, minutes there. Um, but so it's been like the um, and I'll just like personally toss some part of my coat to the side. Um, this armor that I have specifically is just bought from a standard merchant and everything. Like that. And I believe I could do with a little bit more protection. Help me help you, so to speak. You're asking me to enchant your armor. <laughs> if possible, my good sir. Boy, I just gave you boots that allow you to run faster than the fastest <laughs> man in the world. And you need more. I've oh, got. Oh, God. I need resources for that, unfortunately. Well, gold. <laughs> I can give you gold. If you want that enchanted, you need to bring me uh, something to enchant it with. I'm totally ignorant on all that, so like, like, what would I need to bring you? Oh, no. oh indeed. Now this is open, and he clicks his fingers, and a familiar orb appears floating in front of him. Something like this. Oh, is that the... the wild magic? <laughs> <laughs> As it's just spinning there. It's like, now it's somewhere safe. Didn't want to leave it in a vault in the real world for too long. Mind you, I need to work out my defences here. I need to work out how he got in here. I torture it out of him. That... Um, well, I'll pull out just the thing, um, and I'll be like, well, this is the information I have, because it's all information of his dealings with Gerard. 
wasn't it? Yeah. In, for the, everything in between. So like he has been tracking it and I'll just chuck yeah. it all down on there. Whatever you think this might be worth. All right. <laughs> Grabs it, pull it forward. Fucking asshole at me tail. Did we talk about the demon we, we, we fought? No. <clears throat> we should. Hmm. Yeah, we should probably mention that. We, oh, can we mention about the DMV board and the like statues, statues we found? Yeah. yeah. You found statues. Certain statues, or by. The magical facade. Yeah, there were. Right. Yeah, of the demon. Asmodeus. Asmodeus, yes. And they had a big. You see, and the, the, when you say Asmodeus, Skirad's eyes just widen. He's so. like, oh. Hmm. There was a sacrificial circle protecting your book yeah. where we had to kill a uh, messenger demon, so to speak. That was there. Right. He's dead, though. Well, oh, yeah. No, no, he's not. He'll be back in the Nine Hells serving his master again. Lovely. That's my Davis. Hmm. As Garad goes a bit aloof with with his thoughts, he's like, and they're all through the house. Well, now we know which master he was talking about. Certainly, lovely. Well, no, pay no mind to that. Hopefully, nothing comes of that. So he shoots you a look. Goes back. Well, and he just throws his big bag of money onto the table. <laughs> 5,000 gold, that should cover it. Sensational. <laughs> Why still doing business with you? Now. Steve. It's just oh, it's a, it's a, it's a group thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can he make I'll, his 6,000 just because it's even? It's an even split. <laughs> Is that what you ask him? I mean, it's 833. <laughs> Repeating it. Or if I sacrifice this gold, is this the thing that I've done? The, if you sacrifice this gold, the thing you've done? Yeah. No, it was, it was for me giving him extra documents that I stole from there. Oh, is it? He, yeah, okay. don't worry. He, he looks at you and he's like, very well, and he throws another K. From like his bag of holding onto the table, he's like, there you go. You're worth it, a thousand gold each. You'll probably spend it at my store anyway. <laughs> and I'll look at everyone else in the party and be like, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> That's for you. I'd like to give you like a little pat on the back and give you a thumbs up. Proud of you. Oh, I added a hundred. Huh? I get what I'll upgrade my armor. So I need to get some better armor too, because my AC is below. Oh, maybe you can figure that out. That boy, I forgot his name, the one running the shop. He might be able to help you. I don't sell anymore. Why would I? I have a whole fucking city to run. <laughs> Are you okay? You seem to be staring. Are you alright? <laughs> Just gone through some shit right now. It's a big family new. <laughs> I lost my parents. You don't see me crying about it. Yeah. Wrong. Well, maybe there's nothing there to be found. Mm. Well then. As he's talking to Primary about his thing. Roll me an info check. Can I scan Balls. It's going to be like, can you? Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, at 12 specifically. Yeah. Anyone can do that, but it's a game to try. You have a story, guy. <laughs> you can do it. I need closure. <laughs> I'll roll it inside. So, wait, you're purple, right? Mm -hmm. Red and what makes purple? Blue. 
Blue? Come on, Pam, it's not a spray. I don't know <laughs> that, okay? I think in green for some reason. But no, does that mean they come in blue? My is actually for 16. 16? He might be hiding something. Brad's always hiding something, guys. <laughs> yeah. An inside check like that. What did you get? Do you write? You're all fucking terrible. What day in the first class? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like jumps to close the blinds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm sleeping in the swing. You need to feel. <laughs> I'd say it's getting into the late tonight. This is a good one. Garage then shows you down a set of corridors on each side of the, the main hall. Set of doors. Actually, as you walk into it, the corridor starts to stretch. And doors start to appear. How many of you are there? Six. Perfect. Three doors on each side. It's like, this is where you'll be staying. Um, your rooms will be tailored for you. Your innermost desire. Dagna, try yours. Can you open your door to find? What would your room be? Oh. I kind of want to be... I'm going to say it's going to be a little bit like your pleasure room. I'm going to be like, because I saw all this nice comfort stuff and I'm now not having all this stuff. So I'm like, all is there. This bed. I'm going to have a nice bed there, nice and fluffy. And then I'm going to have that swing for some reason. Because I sort of understand why that swing was there. <laughs> so eventually I'm going to go, all right, I'm going to go to bed. And then instead of me going to the bed, I hop into the swing and yeah. fly there. In fact, I make it like a hammock situation. <laughs> Gerard really looks like in and sees this and he just gives you an eye. like, you want me to send a few of these in? And you see the spectrum of help just standing there ready. No, I'm going to sit there like, oh, I'm good. Just a nice little wave. And then just start snoring away. Yeah. <laughs> like like big crew. Like, this is comfy. I really love my back right now. I'm still with your slides on. <laughs> my slides are on. So I've got, and I've got my little my little um my hood around me. Like, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> Right. I found a cushion stick in my back. <laughs> Dead eye, you open up to find what? Um, so I would open up to find a lush, um, kind of like a <laughs> hunting um, lodge slash cabin, kind of similar to say something Viking esque at a feast hall. Um, I would take a couple of companions of Garads um, above the, actually in the corner would be a large orc skull. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see this, do I? No, you're already <laughs> doing this. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm down, I'm sleeping. You can hear my dazzles through the corridor. To show thing, and um, a couple of remembrance shrines to um, some certain uh, people in the past of my life. Um, and I will just go in there and kind of chill and just do like a little shot of the thing just to <laughs> show how good I am. And I'll grab it. <laughs> Grab a big asshole and then chill. Grab right, is like predictable. You, you forest folk. Have fun. Die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excited to see what your room will be. Big inside. Can, no, this is a magical thing. So <laughs> you open the door to find what for you to sleep in. It turns into an owl. <laughs> 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 An alleyway. I've got my choice of bins, my choice of cardboard boxes, but in the very end of this uh, one-way alleyway, yeah. dead end, it's a card game. Because <laughs> it feels like little like, like the one from the just like shining over it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Like, so in the way, you're like, yes. You can see a few things. You can't really see the castle in the back, the cardboard castle in the back. But uh, yeah, just kind of dive into a bunch of cardboard boxes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's from the same garage. Just like, you literally had it. Have fun, guy. <laughs> like a boat made out of like a crap. I have my door, I've had a bit of a forest clearing. A forest clearing. Bit of a forest clearing. I've got a little muffy, little nasty thing to sleep in. I'm just taking myself right back to the forest. Yep, you go in there, Gerard's like, Druids. <laughs> Closes the door. This is not a laugh. 
most wanted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it's probably going to be like a bit grimy, kind of like a blacksmith forge sort of area. It's like a work desk, like a bench, not a desk. And it's just a bit filthy, but it's like cozy and it's warm and there's a fire going from the forge. It feels good. And in the corner is like a normal size bed, but it's like real fluffy. <laughs> And real, real good. Excellent. And there's like a ventilation system. He looks and he's like, I would have expected a bit more bosh. But hey. That's what the bed is. Fair enough. Yeah. That's fair. So Malazar, you, just you opened bed. your room to uh, what? As I opened the room, like this uh, mist kind of starts <laughs> creeping into the room that we're in. <laughs> yeah. And it's basically like a swampy area with a kind of hut <laughs> in the center of like some watery, mangrovey crap on the floor. And yeah, yeah it's just a small little hut in the middle of a waterlogged swamp. <laughs> He's standing there with you and it's like, I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's away from the noise. But he's looking around, everyone else has gone to bed and resting. He's like, Come with me. I have things to show you. And now, can I ask everyone else to leave the table? <laughs> Should we uh, call them too? Ah, oh, yes. Leave Discord. Oh, I'm just putting it out. We'll be back once everyone's uh, left, but just, just me and Dish. It's just charged. All right. Just me and you, Malazar. Garad ushers you out into the main hall. A door appears on one of the walls. He's like, come, come. He grabs two bottles I'm of wine. Scurrying. I'm scurrying, like, excitedly. <laughs> he opens it up, and it's it's a balcony leading out into just a cosmic void. A couple of chairs set up. Sits down, he pours two glasses of wine, he passes one to you, he's like, sit, friend, sit. You're a strange one, I will say. So stated mm. before, a man of your age, you seem a bit, what's the word, gimped in your power. What happened? Not much, just chose my path, and seeing as it's necromancy, it's quite hard to find yes. information. That's indeed correct. I was there when they uh, put the law into effect, you know. Not part of the magisterium, but the fools get me in to do certain things. They paid well. Haven't had many dealings with them lately, but still. You were a student there, I believe. Yes, I, I was. I recognise you, even in the old age. Uh, roll me a history check real quick. Come on. 15, that's both. No, that's fine. Remember, you're nice, six. You, you just realise, you're like, you've seen Garad before, back when you were a student at the Magisterium. He looked identical to the way he looks now. This is, what, 60 years ago? Yeah. He doesn't look like his age today. Okay. He's looking inside. Tell me. What's your end goal here, Melissa? What do you want out of your abilities? Is there um, to hide anything from me? I guess it's power. To show the world what necromancy can do and how I can... It can be used for good, but also the destructive. Hmm. 
I remember someone saying that to me many, many years ago. Back before that law came into place. I believe you've heard of the man called Ethan. The one that uh, tried to take over the world. This isn't about taking over. Well, he I've just seen... Is... I've seen that happen. I've seen what happens when you take advantage of this sort of power. Well, he pursued lichdom in his search for power. Is that something you desire? He's going to sit <laughs> back in his seat. Uh... Possibly. A grin pops over his face. Now we're getting somewhere. I saw you take a book from my library. It's not really going to help you though. You need the real thing. I had I do. Books. You did? I studied it. As I was saying with you, necromancy is, well, can be used for good. In my case, I'll show you that in a minute. But I gave it to Hassan, didn't I? Foolish me. But I was done with it, I got what I wanted out of it. A very certain spell. I did read aren't the... You a, uh, aren't you a collector, though? Don't you like magical things? Why I'm would you give something, something so powerful else. away? For what? I'll show you. Follow me. You get up and you go back into the main hall. You go to the back door, which was which led into the variety of rooms, but this time he opens it up into another hallway. At the end of, it's just a stone, plain stone one, at the end of which is a big stone door with a uh, metal spike sticking out. So, this is where I went until the others were asleep. And he goes up to the door, and you can see with your uh, experience that this this spike is just covered in dry blood. As he slams his hand into the spike, it goes through his hand. He winces at it. The blood drains into the door, and it uh, it glows for a second, and then opens up inward into a dark chamber. But cut. So you step in. Two lights flicker on beside you. Illuminating what looks to be uh, a small workshop at one end, but that the other just going into darkness till he clicks his fingers and the corridor opens up to a room filled with these golden sarcophagi all standing up. As far as the eye can see down. Power is an interesting thing. You can get it from many places. To be candid with you, I made a deal when I was much, much younger that I've come to regret. I've run from it for many times, but it looks like it uh, is catching up with me. With what you found at the Harrison Estate. I believe I might be in trouble soon. Is this Asmodeus? Indeed. Many years ago, when I was much younger, I made a deal with him. My soul... But he saw potential in me. He didn't want my soul. He wanted more souls. One soul does not matter to him. The more souls he has, the more demons he can make, the more devils, and such. So, for 
for my power, for this place, for my abilities, I had to enchant my items that anything they killed or who wore them or wielded them, their souls would go straight to him. It was a good deal to begin with. For the first couple of years, I didn't care. Adventurers coming in, signing their lives away anyway. They were off killing evil, but then they died. They went to Asmodeus. That didn't sit well with me. So I switched to just the, uh, the weapons, thinking. Adventurers go out, they kill evil things, the souls go there. But then, it was I to know who I'm selling those weapons to. The conscience. Well, didn't sit right. So I stopped. Asmodeus contacted me, said that my contract was void, and now my soul is his to call. So I ran. I'm not from this world, Moza. I hop from one to one to one to one. Coward hiding in the night. Putting up a shop, putting up a facade, and he keeps chasing me. I have done this for over 5,000 years. And he starts to take off his robe, fold it up, and he just, hold this for me. I need to die for his soul, not for him to take my soul. And he grabs off the table what seems to be this sharp, pointy dagger. But, and he just stabs himself in the throat in front of you. Blood starts running out, he's gargling, he drops to one knee, keeping direct eye contact with you as he slumps dead under the ground. Few seconds go by, you stand there confused as one of the sarcophagus on the side rumbles. The door flies off and out falls a naked garage. About a year younger than what you see on the floor here, coughing up salt water and 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 uh fire. <laughs> Stands up, he's like, oh but there's a ways around death, Molazar. <laughs> There sure uh, is. Ugh. But that doesn't stop him, does it? Oh. If he can't truly kill me, I just come back here. <laughs> and he grabs the body and he throws it back in the sarcophagus and shuts it. Ugh. I have died many times. Sometimes I do it for fun. Sometimes I find a grey hair and I don't like it. 5,000 years. I learned this spell and he grabs a spell scroll and hands it to you. You too can do this. This is cloned. Your mind is transferred into another body. You don't lose any. It is your soul to another vessel. Strong necromancy, you won't be able to use it until you get much stronger. But that's the thing, Melissa. How long do you think you have? You're a human. Probably 20 years maximum. Unless I get that book. The thing is with that book, it shaves life off you. Life for life. Life for knowledge. I want to make you a deal. I'll help you find this book. I'm intrigued to see where you go and what you do. But I also offer you this. What about a new body? A stronger body, a younger body. One that you can give the life away. One where you're not this frail old man, but in your prime. Will that be something you're interested in? What's the catch? Nothing. 
I like to see my friends get stronger. Plus, I can kill you in front of your friends. Watch. I would enjoy that. You'd have to put on a spectacle, though. <laughs> I would do. The only problem with that spell, my friend, is it takes 180 days to cook this vessel. But you have me. This room isn't actually in my dimension. Here you are. One hour out there is one year in here, as long as that door is closed. I can cook you up a new body tonight. But, as you said, there might be a catch, but I don't think you're right. Adverse to that. I need a pound of your flesh. That is fine. If that is the only catch, I can I give you... I will pay the other requirements. As you can see, you'll need to get a fair bit of gold, but I just want to see... Also... Okay. I can help you locate that book, if you so desire. But I will warn you, it will test your very sanity. The Necronomicon, the Book of Vile Darkness, the Necromancer's Almanac, goes by many names. That's the power you seek. I'll help you find it. But I warn you, if you turn out like the other one, I will put you down myself. Is that fine? Mozart puts out his hand. He shakes it. Deal. Excellent. And he brings the, the knife up and he cuts that arm off at the shoulder. Sears the wound with magic. Uh, just make a constitution saving throw as he takes your arm. 11. 11? Yep. You're on one hit point. And the pain from the shock. You clutch where your right arm? I think it's right arm. Where your right arm is. I pulled my right arm out. I didn't want to lose it, but it is what it is now. It's, like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You'll be fine. And he go and grabs a potion of healing, chucks it down, and you get. You get another uh, 15 hit points back. Just enough to take the edge of the pain. Your your stump fears with pain right now. So don't worry. The last night where you have to deal with this. As he takes the arm and opens up a, a gold sarcophagus and places it in. Come, we'll get some rest. I'll wake you up early and we'll make the spectacle. Any preferences? I was going to say long, slow, and a lot of blood. <laughs> Let's watch them squirm, shall we? Yes. And he ushers you out of the room back to yours. Oh, before I forget. Yeah, this is a thing maybe for tomorrow. And he hands you a small uh, group of spell scroll, in which he gives you the spells where you've got clone, you get the spell vampiric touch, the spell wither yep. and bloom, and blight for next level. Is that next is that at fourth level? Vampiric touch and wither and bloom. You can use currently, so you can put them in your spell book and use now. Light will be yep. for your next level. Clone, you will need an eighth level spell slot for. Okay, but you're just going to have to document that because I'll send that through to you. I'm going to forget, and I can't add it yet. Yep, all good. All right. Wither and 
Did you say bestow curse? No, uh, vampiric touch, wither and bloom, and blight. Wither and bloom is one spell. He ushers you into your room. Please try to get at least a good night's rest. I'll set it up in the morning. And with that, I'll go get the rest of the crew of this lovely little stick. And we're back with everyone at the table. What did you talk about? <laughs> Insight. <laughs> 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 We're sleeping, aren't we? You guys are all in the room, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A long rest. Everyone gets a long rest. Oh. Everyone except um, Molazar. Uh, I don't get a long rest. Right? No. <laughs> all right. No. Trust. Trust. Okay. You're woken up by knock at the door in the morning. You're awakened to the smell of a beautiful breakfast being served here in the head. You come out to the main hall, and there's Garad standing, or oh, sitting there with Molazar, who seems paler and shows us sweating, sweating hard. Friends, so, please come. We've already started eating. Please sit down. And you sit down, and yeah, your favourite breakfast is in front of you. As you tuck in. Eating an eggs. Garad stands up, and he's like, friends. Okay. Also, bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's just bacon eggs and you just take the other half. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. It's just bacon eggs with like bits of hair and stuff in it. <laughs> yeah. I think that is. Your aunt sends up his like friends. I cannot thank you enough for your help in restoring my home and my power of it. My plethora of spells are back at my grasp. <laughs> You're right. You're fine. Just a plethora. <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's good. So, power is a funny thing. A lot of people try to achieve it. He clicks his fingers. Everyone here make a strength saving throw. Ooh. My strength not great. My strength really bad. I got a nat one. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Did you want me to do it as well? No. First roll of the night. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. 11. So no one rolled over a 20? No. As the chair just clamps around all of you. <laughs> oh, God. He stands up and says, Many people go and study as he walks around the table. Many people take it. He walks over to Molza and just grabs him by the, the hair and just drags him out of the seat. Other people take it, grabs one of the uh, butter knives, just slams it into his chest. Are you what? resisting, Molza? Yes. Yeah, he's clawing. Make a, a make a athletics check yeah, against the grass. But the game, like the game was so, the what, Are we like restrained? Or? Yeah, you're restrained. Yeah, you can speak, you can see. Uh, but you negative can't one. Negative oh. one, and he just slaps you and pulls the button through. What are you doing? Ah! Uh. Take what they want, and he just shoves his hand into his chest and pulls out different things like a lung, a heart. So like, <laughs> can I try and slip out? Or... Yeah, make another strength saving throw. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Nope. Because <laughs> it's, it's well. It's Anything over 20. 27. Yep, you break out. What are you doing? Can I try it off? Mm -hmm. Is it strength? Is the chair, is the chair in the ground? Yeah, you just... No, is the chair, like, fastened to the ground? Yes. Oh, so I can't pick the chair and throw it no, out. It's, you see that it's, like, magically... You've got utensils. Thing. What are you doing? I'm grabbing everything on the table and start pegging it out. All right, just make an attack roll. Attack roll? Okay. Oh, it's 11. 11. You throw it and it hits what seems to be a, a barrier as it smears around what seems to be a tube around the rug as he just smiles at you. And he's pulling out more and he's like, but others. And he just gets Molazar, cuts his throat. You see the blood gurgling from Molazar as he's 
as the light fades from his eye. And other people clicks his fingers and a golden sarcophagus appears next to him. Ask for it. Oh, you're murdering him on purpose. He wants you to be. The, the coffin shakes and opens and out falls out a man in his mid-twenties. Coughing up <laughs> like um, just bile and soul water as he steps up. He's like, your friend. Molazar, please describe your new body. What? Oh, what? That shit. I'm saying so, so, I have the table right now. What? I am. Sorry. Still Sorry. pale in colour, <laughs> but <sighs> my tattoos are way more vibrant now, and I have mm -hmm. like rune car not carvings but like all these runes like inscribed in my body in this like green ink and i'm like medium build i'm not fat or overweight i'm just like kind of me your average 25 year old kind of looking bloke with i would say oh, black long hair Mm -hmm. and a bit of facial hair. Not long like I had last time, but it's like a bit of stubble on his face. Excellent. As you stand up, your legs wobbly from never using them in well, this life. You touch your face, the wrinkles are gone. Your hands feel strong again. You have to feel the life in you. You breathe. No, your joints don't ache. You're... Why don't you take it? <laughs> You're right, it's clapped. Sorry, friends, this is his idea. Very dramatic. Can't respect that. Can I stop clapping? Can I stop shaking? Like, we're young again! <laughs> I love the spectacle. Is anyone. He's also it? butt naked. <laughs> well, we have already, They've already seen me naked, though, so it's all right. Yeah. It's it's Gerard, um takes the you know, body body. Body. You know, <laughs> You notice the body, that, well, the old Molasa, was missing his right arm. Oh, did you use that as... As he takes his cloak off and <laughs> wraps it around you, he's like, how do you feel? Okay. The eye's working, like you can hear properly, everything, everything right? Where's the hot sauce? Now you just have to take his, um, hot yes. his headbutts. Look at that chicken's I feel back. good. Molasa. Please raise, <laughs> please raise your strength, dexterity, and charisma by two points. Oh, wow. As you are now back in the prime of your life. Damn. You now have every spell slot restored and full hit points. Is um, anybody in our group younger than, like, 25? I think it's in age. I think you're pretty young. Yeah. Like you and Nixa would be pretty, pretty young. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in my funny. Gerard picks up the body. I just want to say he's the baby of the group now. He <laughs> gives it to, to his maids and I could put that in the back. Should we like bury it or something? Hang on. Do you want to what are you doing it? with that? I Can I Gerard use that? Gives you a, Gerard gives you a look. Make your own body. You, you might want me to hang on to that. Okay. But he could use himself as a zombie. It'd be so cool. It'd be like the ultimate necromancer. But I have uses for it as well. There's your catch, Molza. Okay. Which one's the good evil one? So I wonder who was this? Like, I, I, <laughs> yeah, he takes in the blood and the gore just disappears off the table. <laughs> Is this that felt weird? But he, like I said, he wanted the spectacle. Uh -huh. We've been freed, or we still yeah. In the chin, the chin, uh, like you straight up to the new thing of Molazai. If he still thinks that I'm gonna go, I'm gonna walk up directly, put my gun in his face, be like, "Prove it is you." On top yeah. of prove it is me. Yeah, I'm gonna open my bag of holding um. and pull out my zombies, yeah. who I should still have control over. You still have control over your zombies. Only I can have control over these. And this is what you wanted? 100%. Fucking metal. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuff by magic. 
Is it the same consciousness, or did you acquire this consciousness that we technically did die? Roll me an arcana check. Okay. I know I was telling you about this yeah. shit. Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen? You've heard of the spell. Banned. By uh, the Magisterium. Oh, found okay. only in <laughs> the darkest of tomes that you've never heard of. That one can transfer their soul to another vessel. So the transfer is not a copy. That is Molossar. No, no, no. Yeah. It would still be him. But yeah. I'm just saying, like, did Grad make a copy of his consciousness and the version of him that woke up in the new body thinks he's the original, but he's not. No, that is, that is Molossar's Mola, okay. direct soul. Okay. Mm. Moves yep. the soul from his okay, dead body okay. into a new meat suit. I've been playing too much Soma recently. Yeah. <laughs> I think that movie, that, um, what movie that? Oh, Schwarzenegger movie. Oh, it's going to be like the, the Prestige. Mm. <laughs> totally. So, question, Gerard. Thank you. you could it's do something like that one. Like like yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like the Prestige. I'm just going to back you up with this sort of thing. Because I don't know. Because you don't know or because you don't care. Oh, look at it here. True. What's in the sun? <laughs> That's it. You want to make a roll of some description? Mm-hmm. Intimidation. <laughs> I don't want to intimidate. Inside persuasion. I feel like I want to do a. Mm-hmm. I was hoping for the conversation to go on the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, go for it. Oh, I can't. Oh, you're going to be terrible. Fifteen. Fifteen? Maybe. What'd you get? I haven't rolled anything. I'm still deciding what I want to roll. I Inside have... persuasion. What do you mean with so yeah. What were you, What was she asking? I missed it. Her lineage. I want to know why he won't tell me who my parents are. Okay. I'm just going to do a perception check. Okay. No, no. No, perception wouldn't work. Is Go he... an insight check. Yeah. Does Grad have any books in this room? Grad's sweating. In this room, no. No. He's, he's keeping up the facade, but he's like, I don't know. Oh. For you or for him? Yeah, for him. Well, you rolled the insight. That's the thing to insight. Yeah. 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 Uh, Tell me more, Grad. And as as she says that, I'll also say at the same time, like you know, I spot. I used to spot people like you know lying for a living. You're not telling us something, so I'm just trying to assist us. Tell me more. I rolled Advantage. seventeen for an intimidation. You can, can I advantage. assist Grad? Oh. oh, oh, oh. You may. You got this young body with all these young Seventeen, so you think. What it is. It's his deception. That's a seventeen. <laughs> Rollies. Go again. No. Mm, doesn't matter. Brad is rolled in that one. Oh, <laughs> no. You're going to keep the spotlight on Brad. Why As he's looking at you, tears stream from his eyes. Like, maybe it hurts too much. It hurts me not knowing who my family is. I want to know. I gave you to them to keep you safe. You're not meant to be here. You meant not meant to find me. Well, I'm here now. Tell me. Can, can I just start a big embrace hug for the two of you? Like, I drew you in for a <laughs> He's hug. He's like, hey. I'm just going to be. I'm just going to be. I'm just pouring a pretty big glass of wine. He looks at you and he's like, what did they tell you? The one that dropped you off at this place. They told me nothing. Is that elf man still in charge? What's wrong with old people? I'll have words with him. Yeah. It was for your protection. Protection from what? 
I wasn't in a very safe place as a child, so protection from You're what? safe there. Safer than where? Safer than here, with me. Sacred subclubs. Do I sell? <laughs> <laughs> Why did I think we cared about <laughs> You don't understand. I love your mother. Love? Who's love. my mother? She was an elven lady. <laughs> and I'm like rather, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to... No, he just pushes you, pushes you yeah. away, he sits down, so he pushes you. There's so much going on. <laughs> Her name was Raina. Raina's son. Vision of beauty. Do you have a history check? Yeah, go for it. Thank you. I have plus seven, so let's see what we can do. Uh, 22. 22. You've heard of her. She was quite the, the noble lady from Myrtle. Raina Sunwolf. Mm. She um, went to, to Carnival many years ago and never returned. They held a funeral for her about... How old are you? 23. About 23 <laughs> years ago. She died in a fire. That's ironic. Did I kill my mother? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. I roll for therapy. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dear. You weren't born per se. Your mother was pregnant with you, we kept for you, and it was time. You burnt her from the inside out. I mean, you would have, you would have cauterized the wound, so wouldn't you? Know? No, there was nothing left. I had to stand I there. Burn my mom. Oh, I feel like about this. Like, I have no idea what to do. This is too intense. I'm going to pass the wine to Kareem. <laughs> you're, you're, you're probably just like... Fucking thing. Well, now I know what happens to that lady. This isn't your fault. This is mine. Can, can I do another history check? Is this how old tieflings are created? No, this is not. You don't even think that tieflings don't come out and burn people. One farmer to Korea. One farmer damage to the. Let's just rob a fucking that one. Uh, <laughs> he looks at me and says, I do. I made a deal. With Asmodeus, many, many, many. What? Is he her lineage? God, no. I'm her father. No, but tieflings are... Yes, I'm an Asmodeus tiefling. I'm fucking red. Thank you. I'm just but checking. I'm just checking. Power comes in many forms, like I said. Some need to take it. I took it. I didn't fulfill my contract and my soul is forfeit. As you've seen with Mozart here, who was just like admiring his new body. Is he like weirdly kind of tan? Like... No, he's no, 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 I'd still pale. be super pale. What's your charisma score now? 12. I was going to say, is it like. He's, he's, he's a bit better looking, but he's still like a, like, you know, gangly nerd fella. <laughs> I'm still a nerd. Yeah, it's in 12. In 12, he's not like super hot. Yeah. Well. I have, I have the ability to do this myself. As I told Mal Lazar last night, I've been on the run for 5,000 years. That's a bit changing bodies. Oh, yes. Rod. Yes. Don't have to tell them too much. Just no. enjoy the family time. You should definitely tell us too much. But here's the thing, Mal Lazar. He's after her. What? Why? People can't get to me. Go after my family. Oh. Well, you should have. He's already killed your grandfather and grandmother yeah. many, many years you ago. Should have wrapped it on an entirely different plane of fucking existence. <laughs> he killed your mother by bestowing you with his fanciful fire pack. I thought I could send you somewhere where they'll teach you to control them. Obviously, that sort of works. But out of the woods, hippies. Well, obviously. Where the fuck is he going to look in the forest? Threat of a corruption? She was hidden. I forgot about you. I had to. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. And then suddenly, this this tiefling from the woods rocks up on my doorstep and I'm like, couldn't possibly be. I told him specifically not to let her leave. To keep her there. Did you say get off? Oh, 
But he but he also visited her in the in the tower. Oh yeah. 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 We didn't have a conversation about So we don't know that though, but you can And you he was fine with you leaving. What if he made a deal with us? I need to have words with this man. This is all connected to that same creepy, or that, it's the same creepy statue in the other guy's house. Mm-hmm. Oh, obviously. Somehow. But why would he want to trap me in my own house to give him to me to his master? He was going to give me up on a silver planet. Luckily, I had you, Chuckle Fox, here with me. I'm I wouldn't have been able to work my way through. There it is. Place. Uh, I wouldn't have made it through the first room, getting punched in the nuts. Fuck no, I'd be done. But by the way, with all this intense family stuff and thing, as I was going up to um, help persuade Karu, I, I slipped my hand into her saddlebags. Just going to try and ruffle through her equipment while all this has been going on. All right, roll me. Yeah, roll I'm hand. standing right next to her. We're like, whispering. but I, I come up to the thing. I'm assuming while everyone may take stealth check. Can I do a perception check? Yeah, fucking try to beat him. Let's go. I'm not going to beat him. Happy energy. <laughs> What'd you get? Something like 30? 30. 25. Yeah, I got 8. It's fine. Yeah. Can yeah, I tell her about Hammer? Because I would know bits and pieces. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she was, yeah, just a lovely um, noble lady from Mental. Am I a purple? I'm a crossbreed? Yeah. Yeah, well, all tieflings are crossbreed. Well, two tieflings can get together and have a tiefling baby. Um, but if a tiefling <laughs> has a child with another thing, yeah, he comes out a tiefling. It's just the uh, the demon blood, didn't it? Gerard's like, oh, you happy now? We have two half elves. And now you wonder why I wasn't telling you shit. No, I feel like it's better for me to know that something's coming after me. Not for you. leave me in the dark. The less you know, the better off you are. I could have taken off to another plane of existence again and left you here to be nice and safe and cosy. They would have followed me there, all good. Now, obviously, they might be after you. They might be here with you. Could we just kill Asmodeus? We are nowhere <laughs> near the power <laughs> to even attempt that. <laughs> Big boy, we made a black hole. Gerard just, one. just fucking nearly falls over in his seat. He's like, I oh did. I have tried. How many explosives have you used on it? <laughs> explosives. Explosives. What about black holes? You wouldn't even tickle him. Mm. Asmodeus could rip your face off. Bring you back to life, then rip your face off again for fun. Am I any help against him because I am cursed with his magic? You're breaking the cycle. I killed my mother. You're breaking the cycle. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe you'll explode and kill your friends here. Maybe you'll explode and kill me. Stay over there. Once everyone takes a step back. <laughs> I'm just standing all alone, super dejected. I can do shield as a reaction, so you guys are all screwed. And anyway, I wasn't lying to you. I probably had many children. But none of the partners I did love like your mother. Does, but that is why I try to avoid it from now. Does anything that we want pop up on that table still? Yeah. Food wise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the bottle starts and blood starts coming out. I'm not imagine like the fantasy condoms, but just fucking wrap it, man. <laughs> Pig intestine. I'm doing it's, it's me, do you think, really? This is why I've got a giant 12 foot tall sex robot now. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, he so, learned my dad's sex robot. Yeah. 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 She's trying to deject that from your mind. Entirely. Things are being injected. Yeah, that's sex robot. Even though I love all these happy family moments, This is a bit too much for me. I also need to go have words with your other father. I can return you back to your keep, which, funnily enough, last night I sent a contingent of these fuckers over there. It was brilliant. 
Kai, you're free to stay with me. We could probably have more fun with these fellas. Hmm. Are any jobs coming up anytime soon? Not here. Might have to lie alone. Mm. Demons about. Especially if you've run into a demon. Oh, let's go. We just gotta give you like some sort of water gun. <laughs> you should meet Barry Hoot. You need to meet Barry Hoot. I do like animals. Who's Barry Hoot? He's an esteemed physician. With with oh. our with our post, I said we're not Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Jacob. Or... Uh, oh, did I? Well, I was kindly of like rifling through Jamie's key. Yeah. <laughs> to be able to say, forget it. It's like a joke. <laughs> <laughs> we were really invested in the story. <laughs> I'm not actually going to try and take. I'm not actually going to try and take your money. But like, what's in your inventory? I'm just going to take some. Okay, that's me. He it's takes a flyer cute. from you. And he's like, it's such a cute little cute. quester when you play this character. Um, he turns some olives up. He's <laughs> like. Gonna steal Do you need any set of clothes or anything? Are you fine wearing the old? Old man. Um. Can I just Is rock a pair of pants? I mean, there's nothing really. I'm still trying. Gerard, yep, just puts his feet in, just a pair of black, black pants appear on you. You've still got your your normal black cowl. You pulled off this dead body of yours. Put that in my bag. I was gonna to run topless for a bit. Just seeing as like, mom, yeah. Annoying. Nah. It looks it looks so much better than what you normally see. So. But also, what I still slimy. I need to do a couple off. things. Yeah. So <laughs> baby yeah. girl, smells like a baby. <sighs> oh. I was gonna for the next ten minutes That's while you guys are discussing. Shiny. I'm gonna go sit down. And just like cross leg it on the floor and then start ritual casting uh, my summer familiar again. Walter. Yep, sure thing. Walter appears yep. after 10 minutes. Well, and Walter, then. You see this weird look like, what the fuck? It's all right. I'll explain I'll later. <laughs> and then I'm going to cast. Uh, to animate deads to maintain yep. control over my minions. Yep. You, you, you zombies that have been shambling around the whole. Uh, yep, still under your control. Just been following us. Oh, yeah, they've just been chilling out. The smell starting to get to you. Like these are dead bodies. They are Garage cool. comes over to you and just ne oh. like kneels down. Oh, so nice I did make you an offer. In order to find what you're seeking, I do need an arcane dividing rod. An arcane dividing rod. Do you know where you'll find those? Can I do a history check? I don't. Yes, I don't remember. Do a history check. Don't worry. You don't need much for this. Nineteen. Yeah, you're gonna have to go to the magisterium and try to either convince them or take one. So I've tried finding our friend a few times, but he's got wards in place. Well, they owe me for um, giving them access to that cannonball. True. You might have a problem now, though. He says with that exact face as he's looking at you up and down. You know this is banned, right? <laughs> I fear this much. Wait, we can just say the, the wild magic of the orb made you young again. That's or, interesting. Doesn't sort of have, um... I just rock up and I'm going to disguise oh, um, again. I'm going to disguise kid again and yeah, I'm just going to yeah, yeah. throw wrinkles on him <laughs> and hope that he doesn't attack me because I'm not going to ask him to do it first. <laughs> Make a um, performance check. Are you stopping him? Yeah. What yeah, the fuck is he gonna draw on me? This uh, I'm gonna assist. Good thing I'm gonna assist me. Yeah. Yeah, so you're just getting mobbed by these guys <laughs> and they're trying to disguise you as old mobs. So, yeah, because I'm proficient. I'm proficient with my. Um, you were just gonna flat roll. Just flat roll. Did so I call my minions under them? Pull them off me? Yep. Yeah, make, make, make it. Make it. Make it. Just make a straight roll because one disadvantage just. But what? Am I, what modifies magic? Performance. Um, but with proficiency for disguise kid or just it, performance? Yeah, straight performance. Yeah. 
Because you, you right now you've got zombies and skeletons uh, and models are like punching you on the face. Street performance is gonna be 13. <laughs> yeah, you just you get like a fucking squiggle on his face, and then these these skeletons and zombies pull you off, and Molotov, you've got like this buddy like scar line down a cheek as you push him off. <laughs> So he looks already looks a little bit more disheveled. Like, it wasn't for these fuckers. Like, do a great job. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my, we could say the world my tattoos good. flare up as I charge yeah. up a blood bolt and I'm saying, don't you dare touch me like that again. <laughs> as you yeah. see, all my tattoos start like glowing In bright today, green. Check, mate. Well, I don't know, I guess it's pretty good. 15. 15. Um, what do I make a charisma saving throw? He's probably got high charisma. I don't. It was a natural three. <laughs> you, you're, you're looking at him and like the old man, you, you can laugh at, but he is now a man younger than you. Just these, these tattoos flaring up, and you can just feel the power coming off him now. You're like, oh, shit. I'd be like, all right, all right. I was just trying to help and trying to make you look older. Apologies. i last next time. No, Your eyes just be like, like a little bit like Logan. <laughs> <laughs> and see, Molly's up. This is what I get out of it. I love seeing you excel. I will excel yeah. after we... Go to the Magisterium. Excellent. Well, see you again soon. Stay out of trouble, please. We'll talk more later. It's a bit of a weird situation, really. I'll definitely be back. I deserve that. Where are you going? Oh, I'm not going anywhere. You lot are going home. Where are we going to go get some new armor and all that stuff? Like, oh, yeah, we need to have a gang go to the store soon. He clicks and a teleportation circle appears where the table was. We might have to do that later. Bye bye! As he just <laughs> wonk you all into this hole. As we're going into the hole, I'm just yelling at him to be. Will I remember where that circle is? Quickly make an arcana check. I take my uh, and an Yeah, you just grab some shit as you're being sucked into this hole. 19. 19, you just eye it and you're like, aha, got it. Panic. Panic. Okay. <laughs> you now have yeah, the teleportation circle to the pleasure palace. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> yep, he doesn't have teleportation circle yet, but he's memorizing different places. As you all are now ejected onto this um, beautiful stone floor with this beautiful, what looks to be newly carved teleportation circle in the floor. Um, Garad's standing there with you. He's like, just a sec. He leans out. They've done good work. Go on. See you in a new home. And I immediately know where home. And I just start whistling for Barry. Yeah, you look out the window. It is Backlos Keep. You've never seen it before. It's this beautiful, beautiful now. A giant castle in the middle of what seems to be corrupted wood. Walking down these stairs, you reach a room, um, Marza, that you noticed was the one you picked. But it's up in the tower, now furnished with um, bookshelves full of arcane tomes, alchemy sets, and um, it seems to be a, a storage box that seems to be able to fit at least three to four bodies. Okay. And a nice basic bed. Garage just gives you a wink. Walking down um, to the bottom of the stairs, you hear familiar sound. It's like, I fucking don't know how they did it. It's, <laughs> it was a fucking ruin yesterday, and now it's fucking fixed. She's like, I'm rocked up. Don't look at Give Talks in the mouth. Like, he's done a good job. That's fucked if I know how they did it, though. As you come out into the main main hall, it, um, there is now this, this crest of what seems to be a black eagle. 
hanging over um, this big table in this hall. Chandelier is floating, lighting the area. As standing in the hall is Amrock Still Mason, Lord Elwyn. It's like, you're back and alive and oh, you are? And he's like, oh, I'm, I'm the mask, don't worry. What? See, he's walking around. I see my workers have done a good job. I'd hang on to these people. They're an asset. Now, I just want to inspect my work. Friends, you've done me a service. If you need me, you can call on me. Sending in one. Once you get that. I won't come running, of course, so but if you need certain things, I can help. Such a telephone just to ring your father. That's still weird. Speaking of which, if you see the other one, tell him I'll be looking for him. Oh yeah, we can pass that on for you. Excellent. Um, Amrock and, and uh, Elf Lord Elwyn are looking around and he's like, Oh, you picked up a new member. Hello. Um, reach out and go to shake your hand. I snake his hand. <laughs> you, you are? Oh, look. <laughs> uh, yeah, hi. Where are we? Uh, this is the Black Moss Keep. It's my ancestral home. How far away is that from Festival? Festival. Guys, like, <laughs> about a week's. Like, carriage ride? In which direction? North, uh, west. <laughs> yeah, I think I've been here before. No, no you have not. <laughs> not often people have. A guy. A guy. I'm a guy. A guy, Sebastian. <laughs> no. Interesting. The opposite. <laughs> nice to meet you. And they turn and look at, <laughs> look at Molotov and it's like, oh, um, you're new too. Oh, the old man. Did he meet him? I'm not new. I am not new. This is Molza. No, it's Oh, okay. Um, Kamigar has some fantastic <laughs> anti-aging cream. <laughs> Lord Elwood's like... Really? Oh, that's fucking funny. <laughs> it's an illusion. Gerard said, powerful magic's part of his reward. I could do it to you too, Lord Elwood. I hear you have a problem. You say, Oh, I'll be fine. I'll face my end with dignity. I go into the uh, waiting arms of hell. When I go. It's a penis. The penis is the problem. That's why he wants a new body, right? <laughs> Not like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right just laughs. <laughs> talking about his god of protection. <laughs> 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 Maybe Grad should follow the god of protection. <laughs> I'm my own god, darling. Oh my god. Our gun deals with too many gods. Well, have fun, friends. I'm good a man to go. Probably feed to a dragon. I thought if it just out of existence. And away. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, was just standing there like. Well, it sounds like you have fun. The place is fixed now. You did quite a wonderful job. As I said, overnight. Quite weird. Well, what's there to report? Did the, uh, the shot get delivered safely? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. That's what we did. It was three yeah, days ago. Like it's been a really long three it's days. It's been an intense three days. Wait, should the best mystical cannons be on the on the wall? Oh, yes, the Magisterium are brought, and he comes outside, and you see what seems to be a giant, like, hunk of metal carved in the shape of a man. Oh. We lost Dan. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry, my Discord. No, oh, but there he is. Hello. Um, 
Hey. Yeah, sorry oh, about that. In the background. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that, Dan. Cut out. You see in the in the uh, in the bailey, that seems to be a large iron ball carved in the shape of a knight. It's arms not conjoined by traditional means, but arcane flowing through it. What a magnificent thing! The Magisterium dropped it off uh, pretty much the day after you left. Is it hard to get up to where it is? It's it's in the courtyard, it's like standing watch. Can I immediately book it over to where it is? Yeah. And then I don't care what check, I want to look at it because it's pretty. Yeah, yeah, I can't check. I'm just going to do that. What time of day? Why did they drop this off again? I don't know. It's part of the deal. Um, For them to have access to the orb in yeah. Carnival. Well, this is some crazy ass magics that you have no idea about. Molazar, on the other hand, you look at it and go, eh. could have done a better job. These things are everywhere at the school. They're like the main guard. I just don't understand why they would have sent one to Black Moss Keep. It was part of the deal. You said they uh, would get access to the orb. Their payment was one of these. They were going to offer you gold. But instead, you took this, and that was it. We have had word from Myrtle. He goes through his notes. Or Emma, hands up, he goes through. Um, we're still having trouble with the pirates. Remember, they offered you the job before you left. I know it's been pretty, pretty hectic <laughs> time. Um, oh yes, uh, the pirates are attacking um, the, the trade routes out of Myrtle. They're looking for uh, people to go and um, sort these pirates out. Ah, uh, that's Nix, Nix's arm. Um... Where's Nix Yeah. Um, She's off doing... Yeah. Oh, okay. He still has needle though. Very well then. Um, well, there's that. Uh, there's also a tiny little problem that I need to uh, sort out. Um, what do we call you? You've been doing good around the, the, the land of Runetel for now. <laughs> People are asking for you, but they have no name. That's the nameless mystery. ones? If you want. That is in interesting. Wait, I'm going to yeah, change yeah. Cool, I'm going to call over Barry Hoot so he can be die. Yeah, and, um, you just see this large owlbear just bound over. I just tackle you. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to cut the dollars. Uh, yeah, he's been doing great. There's been a few uh, the, uh, the corrupted animals fleeing the woods, um, and he's just been ripping them to shreds. It's weird. Oh, who's a good boy? I'll look at Barry here. The Legion of Black, Black Moss would be dope. Legion of Black Moss. I was going to come up with that. Well, the, oh. the six hooters. The six hooters. <laughs> six hooters. <laughs> I'm the name generator thing. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm gonna attach the little like, hair we got from that guy's um piece onto his little chain. Nameless ones, the, the Legion of Blackness. I can't have black that one. We originally were the Black Moss Company. <laughs> These are, I have to think I have six hooters, like it's instead of six hooters. <laughs> Interesting. I'm cool, I, I like the Legion. Wait, well, the Legion. The Legion of Black Moss. The Black Moss Legion. Do we really have enough members to be a Legion? Well, and he points out to um, like the main game. You see what seems to be a small makeshift village starting to form outside the keep. And he's like, takes you up onto the walls and out over. Um, 
the, uh, the, the front lands of the keep, um, small houses are starting to be built. Um, there's a church that has been built out of, out of wood that is nearly, nearly uh, fully constructed after just only a few days. Who's the, the, who's the church of? Hell. You see a big fist with an eye. It's like, okay. These are the, the, the uh, inhabitants of Narrington that you sent down there. They made their way and a few of them got I here and it. they rushed here as quickly as they could. It's, it's, we have a community now. More, more will come and spread tales of medical exploits of young Mr. Hooch. Oh, but you have to take back the veil. You see, oh, yeah, yeah, on, on the, on the, on the I'm just on the ground playing with him. Okay. It's been like, to make sure he's yeah, he's good. He's my top priority while I'm here. Put on my ear hood and just like go over and start introducing myself and play with him. You jump off the off the battlements and just call on. <laughs> Full, full, like, yeah, Batman. Full Batman just, style. To, <laughs> down to Barry Three. That's, that's interesting. That's so, nice. what did we decide on? Uh, Molazar really doesn't have a preference. He just yelled out a name. He's more interested in inspecting this thing that the Magisterium have sent. Yeah, you're looking it up and down. It is, it is a basic iron golem that you've sent. Can I inspect it for any tinkering little things that they may have yep, make put a... on it to spy on me? I can't check. 26. Jesus. There's a listening device built into this iron hole. Oh. Shit. As you would more plainly know that they would want to keep at least an eye or an ear on you. It probably would be a, a scrying vision being sent back to somewhere as well. You feel that dispelling it could, could be rid of it though. If I dispel it, it's just going to crumble the iron golem. It won't crumble the golem. You could get rid of just the um, the divination magic on it. Actually, if you want to say, I have an idea I could use to help that. I can enchant items to make random noises. I could just put a rock right in front of it and it just gives out white noise so they can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you guys. And then they'll still be like, oh, that fell in place, but it'll just be like, uh -huh. Could you possibly tinker it so that you could send the information somewhere else? Potentially, Kyle, could I do that? Yeah, I'll allow you to do that. What would I have to roll? Come on, Miss Multi-Purpose Tool. Okay, well, let me get my tool page back up. That's a special tool, Saturday. So, I want to get this set in stone. What is we your don't have Nixar. name? <laughs> She does. She doesn't mind. Old Marine. Miranda doesn't care. She's too preoccupied. Can I use Tinker's tools to do it? Yes. Okay, so and I automatically have efficiency. Yep. Roll a yeah. I um. I can check. With you have proficiency in Arcana, don't you? you just no. Anything. Add your proficiency yeah. bonus to it. Okay, my proficiency bonus is doubled. Six. There's yep. something I saw this one called Crisis Crew. <laughs> <laughs> Not 20, sorry, 26. You clamber up this, this iron golem, eager to, to mess with it. You get your tool out and you pull its head to one side. It's like, and then you're like, oh, okay. And then you get in there and it's like, oh, the arcane working. This is crazy. I've never seen this before. You're moving around and then, aha, thunk. and you see its eyes go, thunk. what? You've now got the one image of, oh, um, a feedback loop? yeah, on a feedback loop, and the same sound. 
I keep going, aha, 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 aha. It's constantly. Perfect. So they've just got you in your face, like smiling and saying that over and over and over again. I'm so pretty about some more. The trauma task group. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Because there's actually group. seven of us now. Yeah, there is. The seven wonders. Wonder so, kids. It's so hard to come up with a name. <laughs> it is. I'm putting you on the spot. I've asked you the seven wonders months ago. I'm getting my yeah. <laughs> The Black Moss Legion, the seven wonders. <laughs> None of us want to do that. I'm happy with Black Monster Legion. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, that sounds pretty, pretty cool. Anything that I'm going to come up with is going to involve Barry. <laughs> so, That's not a bad thing. Unless we're going to have, unless we're going to have a dumb Barry Who thing. Unless we're going to do like Horton, here's a Who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of cool, like, yeah, no, I think that's it. Black Monster Who to combine together it doesn't make sense. Wait, did you kids? Barry's kids. Barry's kids. Name Barry's kids. I feel like like Barney the dinosaur situation going on there. Yeah, the old Barney and Barry in the hoots. Barry in the hoots. Barry, Barry and friends. Barry in the hoots. I like that one. Barry in the hoots. Barry in the hoots. So, which one? I like Barry. I like Barry. Yeah. Barry. <laughs> Barry in the hoots. Is everyone happy with Barry in the hoots? I am. <laughs> yeah, why not? I'm, I'm, I'm excited that my, my ba- that Barry, that the one creature that I brought to this crew, has now inspired us to be a crew. <laughs> Do we get to bring Barry with us on adventures? Yeah, I, I want to bring Barry. <laughs> you can. You can make him into a sidekick. If you <laughs> don't wish to. He can also be a healer as well. Do it. Barry, Barry, are you locking that in? What is it? I am. Barry in the hoots. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Mola doesn't care about names, dude. Did you say that? <laughs> he is, and this is his visual. I just mm. dropped my head in my hand. <laughs> I'm not exactly. going to say anything. Yeah, I'm just going to be like, fuck. <laughs> Barry in the Hoots. Barry in the Hoots, and it can be be Hoot and Company for if we're, if we're being if we're being professional. <laughs> Barry in the Hoots, be Hoot and Company. Yeah, just it, it depends. It's 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 I'm gonna have a good time. Yeah. It's like if, we, if we're being introduced as Barry in the Hoots, but if it's just you know, ah, oh, you know, we are. And we, we, and if it's not a professional contracts business, then we're so then we literally like then we're then we're not with us. Well, then be the Hooters. Yeah. So we're Barry's with the Hooters. Yeah, 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 cool. Be I, can, I can work with that. Be I, I do like that. Sweden. But I didn't say. Um, hey, Barry. Look at him. Okay. <laughs> I like Black Moss Legion as well. We can all. I think. I think you brought on that. You've got a professional name as well. Yeah, it's just so you can. <laughs> be huge and cope professional. <laughs> very okay, very, well, very well. Um, be huge and cope. I'll put that on official documents and you can introduce yourselves. <laughs> and Barry and the Hoops. I really terribly made me what? Very well. Black Moss Keep is your home now. Use it how you will. Um, Why are you mad? Ruffles through thing and he pulls out this. This, uh, this long piece of paper, puts it down and goes, sign here. Okay. I immediately sign. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, yeah. yeah. Um, you read it and it's the deed for the castle. Yep, sign away. Uh, I, I, I sign. All right. Molazar <laughs> cuts his thumb and then puts his thumbprint as his signature. That would work. See Mullah's that do that. 
They still accept blood. <laughs> Some people can't sign their no, fucking name. I have one of those like four colour prints, but it's like old timey. <laughs> 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 now that Moles are like pretty much my age, it's just like competition. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> with this deed, you are now the legal owners of Black Moss Keep and surrounding lands. On my death. <laughs> You've done me this great service, and I'll be happy to live out the rest of my days. It is your Where will that be? When? Where? Where will I die? Where are you going to live out the rest of your days? Here, in the keep. All right, good. <laughs> I still can't take you seriously when you're looking at me like strange. Do you feel do they still ache? No, they don't. Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> well, soon I won't have to worry about that. A, a bit a bit somber. Right? <laughs> You've killed the diamonds. That's which. How many wishes do we get? <laughs> you find the funniest people, friends. I'm glad to have met you all. I'm liking this one. Oh, trash man. Have fun. You can decide on your next port of call. There are still bills and whatnot to pay. And and other things to uh, sort out. The treasury needs to be restocked. That's up to you. Have I got mail? Oh, and he goes and he pulls out this big stack of letters. <laughs> Here you go. Yes. There are more pictures of your kids' drawings. And... Do I have any mail? They would never, actually. No. no. I didn't think that through. I'm going to sit with Barry and start looking at one. Um, you're going through pictures of your kids, like yeah. that have drawn um, a letter from your father. Oh, okay. And stating that, that um, he, your your exploits have come back up to, to the, the the village, and he's quite proud to hear that. I I, uh, I, I, I I have a tear come out. I just get all the marshal and suck it back in. <laughs> um, another part of it that he he says we might have to. Um, Come down and scout the area, maybe move the village down. We are starting to get an influx of full blooded orcs from the east. Wait, that's not good. Well, they're coming in, you're saying they're coming in, they're, they're keeping the peace and, you know, let them in and look after them, and, but they have me worried. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I've had a concern with the reasons, let up and go. Mm. Stuff things up here, and I'm not liking this. You get to the letter from your wife okay. talking about. Um, did you ever tell her that she de aged? I'd sent her um, a yeah. dick pic. <laughs> and your, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's 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 um, message back going, How the hell? I can't. Oh my god, can't wait to see you. Oh. I sent her a drawing. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I did like a little drawing, but like, look how young I am, and then. Missing you, dick pig. <laughs> P.S. The, the influx of orcs have been worried. Yeah, we get back to They're um, they're much bigger than most of your most of the orcs left, mm. other than your father, who is a full blooded <laughs> orc. Because you're a half orc. Most of the the full blooded orcs are older in years now. Yeah, there's very few. There's very, like I said, there's very many. Lots, lots of car walks, yeah. lots of still, um, like there's Northmen, the, yeah. like Northmen, yeah. big burly people. And there's quarter walks now. There's quarter walks, like, yeah. Um, it, yeah. The, the, the lineage is getting sullied, and um, the kids are getting 
picked on by a lot of the full-blooded old children that are coming in. Mm -hmm. But hey, we can't we can't eject the kin. Mm. But she just has a worry. The, they're not as civilized as she puts in quotation marks as the rest of us. So. I'm holding the paper very sternly, again, yeah. very um, concerned for my family. So, yeah, I'm definitely wanting to go there and see what the hell's going on and get them to safety. Yeah. Excellent. Is there anything else anyone wants to do for the rest of the day in Black Moss Keep? Um, I'm going to ask around uh, first Lord Blackmoss and then if he doesn't have anything, just the general chatter um, from the people in the town to see if there's any um, news of further crime and violence further afar. Uh, Specifically, rolling... you know what I mean? Yes, yeah. roll an investigation check. Question. There was a group of patrol standing out in the place for a little bit. Have they ever... Oh, yes. Um, you see, mingling out with the, the townsfolk are um, a contingent of the guard. Yes, that's the one safe. I was talking about. Yeah, just want to yeah, make sure they were They're there. walking around. They're, they seem pretty lax. They seem like recruits out here on mm. um, just a guard booth. But, yeah, they seem to be doing their job. Just a nine. A nine? Excellent. You're walking through, you're asking people who have no real idea about the lands outside of the Vale. Um, you talk to a lot of the people you saved, and a few of them still coming to grips with being mutated monsters and then coming back to sanity. That's the guy with the hammer. He's the guy who was doing, who was the blacksmith. Hammer. Blacksmith, yeah, he set up a shop. He's, he's quite. Um, Who's the blacksmith? The chiropractor. Quite um, the back, the backsmith. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you set up a shop, and he's starting to. Well, it's so everything's pretty basic here. Like yeah, they've only yeah, had yeah. maybe a week to, <laughs> to set up. <laughs> but you walking around town, like town, it's starting to spring up. The ground's pretty muddy. People walking around, they're, they're coming up, they're thanking you and and whatnot. And, um, you're looking around, and then you feel in your back. Cold steel. A voice in your ears, I. Hey, uh, did I? Is this where you've been? Do I recognize the voice? Yeah, um, it's one of the crew members. <laughs> A man um, you would know as um, Marcus. Just one of the yeah. You're a good scout. Yeah. Make a little honey for yourself. We miss you. The boss misses you. And, all right. Like, how did you find me? You make it a big hello, buddy. The picture's being drawn. People see that dead eye, they know. Sardos uh, gets a little chuckle out of it, uses it to target practice. Is he close? It's just me, mate. But I gotcha. You can't outrun the bullet right in your back. Pick up those shoes. Oh, yeah. Um. I suggest you come with me. Maybe the boss will look up. Yeah. Do I? Um, so it's right in my back. Yeah. Like you, uh, you're in one of the back areas you, out on the forest. He's just slipped in and got you. And he's pulled you into a little makeshift alleyway that's happening with just between two houses. A few people are walking by, but you are both well trained in not being seen. Yes. I'm gonna try and disengage. Shoot. Oh, if you're disengaging. Yeah, I like. Roll I'll a, my boots. Yeah, first. roll a dexterity check mm -hmm. with advantage. Like a dexterity saving throw with advantage. I, I, I want to like, click my boots as as he's yeah. forcing me along. I click my boots again. And he'll get disadvantage on so his. I might disadvantage. Him. Your advantage. Um, so I'm just going to disengage and the dexterity check. Yeah. Yeah, I roll terribly. What did you get? Um, just a normal dex check. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's saving throw, go saving throw. That's even worse, actually, that's not. 
um, 14. So he rolled on with disadvantage a natural 20. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. As you click your boots together, it all happens in slow motion as you just swing around the speed. He goes to fire, the bullet goes off, it grazes. Mm-hmm. Your back as it slides, the, the sound echoing through as you come back in. How are you doing this? So I'm kind of thinking that I'm like I'm disengaging at the crime, trying to dodge that, and I'm just like pulling down and like go for like a straight head shot. Like, oh, yeah, you bring the like, gun like, up sharp, under his like sharpshooter and just thing. boom, his head just <laughs> and his body good. just drops into the ground. You're yeah. like, yeah, you hear the gunshots. Oh, and people are scurrying around. They run over and they just see the scene as you're clutching like this um, this wound with this bullet. It's just grazed your back, blood coming out of it. Um, as people run up and you hear a lady scream as this this guy's head is just missing now. The rest of you run over. Yeah. 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 Out of him, yeah, you can see, yeah, the the grace where it's come from. The violent, the violent gut of the the violent gut. The yeah, they come gut. over and they're like, "Fuck, yeah, the violent gut." I'll yeah. just have a shoulder and cast cure wounds. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, it heals up the wound. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Marcus oh, lays there. Back of his head gone. Pistol to his side. Who was that? Yeah, yeah, I think we all be able to go like, who the hell is that? Like, what? Who is that? And I'll take, I'll take a deep breath. Um, have I told you? Have I told the group? I don't think you have. No, um, I barely talked to you. Let's yeah. get into people's happy. <laughs> Alright, so... Everyone's getting bit. I'll be like... That's yeah, fine. I'll just say his name is Marcus. He's a criminal scout. Um, sent to, he was sent to look for me. Um, I, like I'm just going to be straight up honest uh, with Ooh, you guys. Very um, we've been through a bit together, but uh, natural when we first ran into each other, you remember I was quite uh, skittish and looking to be very, um, yeah, looking to essentially be very quick on my ways and out of the town when we first met. When those bandits attacked us, there was um, a little bit of vestiges of a group I used to run with, um, where Ooh. things went sour, and uh, might be how I sustained this. Um, that's a point to my, you know, dead eye. Um, <laughs> so I won't give too much information, but I'll essentially say I left the group after they started. Uh, Doing things further than your general, you know, rob for coin and intimidation. There was a lot of evil things and murder happening. And uh, some friends of mine tried to um, leave and start our own company, and uh, they were murdered. That's where this is my friend's cloak. This is his gun. So I can't remember my backstory as much, but the. Uh, <laughs> Very funny to be called the thing. It was called the Willow Fire Wanderers. Um, was that the one that you made or the one that you were in? The one that we were in. Um, you all would have heard of this this gang. They're a very prominent band of highwaymen and have got very, very brazen in the last couple of years and been like so, more of a private army now with how they're kitted out. I thought I'd escaped and they believed me dead as. I was pretty messed up from the carnage, um, but it seems they found out with my exploits and their leader Zardor is after us, for me. Um, also, I've been tasked with my life from Lady... Hey, did the Lady Commander? Lady Commander, I can't remember her name. I think it's Gallon Wood, but it could be wrong. Um, Gallon Wood? Pardon? Yes, it's Gallon been tasked by Gallenwood to um, take down Zardor as the price of my freedom. So that's a lot to unpack. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I really hate to have a happy day, I feel. Yeah, this is a very emotionally My driven thing. But, um, <laughs> so, this, who was the guy, the Zardor? Uh, I don't think Yaga knows her about these people before. You have heard of the Wild okay. Wild Wanderers, they, okay. but they're that brazen. A lot of caravans going from your place to the south to settle like hides and birds. Mm. They've been knocked off by these, okay. these people. Um, yeah, your your warriors have, you know, and you would know this too, have probably taken out a few of them. Okay. So the, the Zala is a big full up. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, Scott. Yeah. Um, it's my dream room. It's right. So, how big no, is your all is, is this crew? Is all stuff like so? Obviously, you know insights. So, what what are we looking at? This crew? They're coming here. Are they going to come to the town? Are they going to try? They're not meant to take this town. What? If Desardo wants something, anything in his way, it's fair game. He'll kill man, woman, and child, blow all the smithereens for half a penny. You that guy. I'm going to say, yeah, no, there's a lot of concern right now for you. <laughs> with family now trying to bring them here, this doesn't seem like a safe place either. Probably one of the safer places, actually. It is, but if he's got a whole army of people here, they'll rather to demolish the town because they want to. The Violet Guard are still here as well. The Violet Guard. Magisterium stuff. Yeah, I would say maybe it's just... not so strong as to directly take on, but we'll have to be on our guard. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. On that note, I'm going to go back and just write over and let my parents because I realized that I have not told them where I am. Wait, you might, so. Remember next door on the fly. It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like, I probably should let them know. I could, I could role play now. Marcus mentioned <laughs> that. I think you need a drink. There's pictures and things of uh, the group. Does that have our location on it? <laughs> Funny enough, stuff. yes. I ripped off a lot of the location ones. Exactly. No, no, no. This is new stuff. Oh, okay. This is um, that you haven't. Been. Yeah, you can see now. Like, there's a small kid comes up and he's like, oh, "Look, it's you guys!" And he holds out this flyer, going, "Um, new adventure company found. Look, um, working out of Black Moss Keep, have uh, successfully made the first mm -hmm. settlement in the Sky Vale since the Lich War." You need a job done, there to call. Name mm. unknown. <laughs> and all I care about is why is my nose so big? I drew my nose wrong. Oh, uh, you're not on there. You're not on there. Yeah, you're not on there That's yet. Fair. This was from um helping Narrington. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Fair. So you're not on there yet. Pretty but, good. Um, it would quite, quite literally incognito. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you'd rather the fly and draw your own. Yeah. Well, let's um, yeah. look at it and see the old man and be like... <laughs> well, they'll be old. They'll be young me. Oh, yeah, yeah, old you. Yeah. Like, oh, look at me. Look at us. Look at us all. Oh. Look at our Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially, just like two, two, like, older dudes with the aging filter on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> look at us, brother. Look at us. We're not that anymore. I'm looking at you like, what is it? So, we've done that. Do any of you guys want to do anything? You're just writing a letter to your parents to let them know, hey, I'm joining an adventuring company, I'm having fun, I'm safe. I'm not going to tell them where I am, though. They probably know where you are. I know, I'm just going to pretend that they don't. <laughs> All right. Keep being loose. Oh, good. Yep. You know, can I send a letter to the druids? Yep. Yeah. 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 You send off a raven, the animal messenger, off it goes. Please Guy, is there anything you'd like to do? No, no, you know. <laughs> Does the keep have an attic? Basically. Yes, it would have it added, like, Molazar is and in, in, in the tower, outside, so, uh, he's on one side, which is the wizard tower. He's pretty much claimed that. He claimed that the first night he went up there and found the the um, summit, the transportation circle up there and went, this is where I am now. It did 100% have, like, Ratchet Tower. Yeah, yeah Ratchet Tower. I'm going to live in the walls. Yep. Ratchet Tower. Yeah, you can find, like, a little, little um, like, walkway. 
starting from under the stairs that can lead up through the house. You know, oh, you scurry in there like the, the rat man you are. Just make some uh, some holes behind some photo frames and stuff like that. Yeah. I feel like you could find like a ledge so you can hang upside down while we're in your bathroom. I'm yeah. saying that you all find rooms made up for you to accommodate for you. You've got your own workshop set up, ready to go now. You've got a, a room set up um, with adjoined mm. um, rooms with more beds. Oh, hell yeah. As you see that your room's been set up ready for your family. Yes. That's they, cute. They, they love you, you did specify that you wanted to bring them in. I did. And um, any effects that you had had, you can now set up in your room. Cool. Did I? Um, you'd have a room ready to go. I think you would have, yeah, like... A, Nice spot and area of like hunting materials there. Yeah, um, I'd also, if I could, like a little kind of tinkering workshop that I could make for any firearm repairs, but yeah. also um, set up something akin to an alchemy body. You could sure do that. And yeah. also, at one point, I want to go hunting for some random herbs and stuff that we don't need to we'll in Colum, you had a room before that has now been decorated. Lots of different plants and, and whatnot are now hanging into you, being imported from Carnival. Beautiful, beautiful roses. And, um, yeah, so we can all settle down for the night and move on to the next bit. Molotov. Mm -hmm. Yes. Halfway through the night. You, you're laying there asleep, and then in in this dream, you're, you're standing there. Your new body, and you start to hear skittering. Skittering around you, you can hear like thousands and thousands and thousands of legs. <laughs> you start to walk forward, looking at your surroundings. You can see just through the dark that the walls look like they're starting to move. Many, many different figures and forms just moving, skittering, getting louder and louder. You go through a small archway into a larger room. And descending from the roof is a large form, eight legs. The, uh, the body of a spider with a with a lady's torso attached to it, she just lowers herself down ever so slowly, turning herself upright onto the ground. The form you see, um, dark skin, pointy ears, white silvery hair. She bends down to get right up in your face and she's like, look at you, boy. You haven't looked like this in years. What do you want? You're making yourself known more and more lately. Oh, just checking up on you. My nice little plaything. Have you found him yet? No, I haven't. Your little red friend seems very nice. My red friend? What? Say that again. Your red friend. He seems very nice, very helpful. You mean Gra? Is that his name? The magic one? The magic one. Another demon has already got claim to him. As a des. Pathetic. And she pulls herself back up to all of her glory. I might have to pay that one a visit if you fail. The soul is mine one way. You know that. I won't fail. You leave Asmodeus out of this, though. Very well. We're getting close. Not the walker. Don't drop the ball now. And she just slams her leg into you when you wake up in a cold sweat. 
your room. Fucking spiders. <laughs> Hello. You're as nice and cozy in your new bed. Quite comfortable. Lavish. Seems like someone went really overboard with this one. As you feel a hand brush the hair of your face. Mm-hmm. Opening your eyes, you see the arch druid. I believe I've got you. It's been a while since I've been all this. If I die, it was empty and empty. Bear with me. It's like how the battle works. Here we go. And it was the episode ever. One hour. <laughs> 20 episodes. Come oh, here. That's, that's your old episode. Come here, the art show. The, the, the um, beautiful elven man standing there is like, You've returned, my dear. Mine's that. I know where I came from. Oh no. Where did you go? It's not about where I went, we need to talk about where I went. Oh. Person dropped you off many years ago, put you into our care. We raised you. It's one of our own. Your potential magic is savage, wild, perfect. You've already done what none of us have ever even tried to do. Some of the veil is already cleansed of its corruption. It's insane. It's amazing. I knew putting my faith in you. I mean, I'm amazed that I can't. Yeah. But I wasn't meant to leave. Well, no. Part of the deal I made with the man. Look after you, I'll keep you safe. You stay in the safety of the grove. Power like this. You can't be held. It's like a cleansing stop. You will spread and bring new life to the land. Rage, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just in a moment, don't tell. <laughs> um, well, look, Grad's gonna be coming to talk to you. Oh, you, you found him. Yes, I didn't mean to, but I didn't. Haven't heard from him in, well, 20 years. He was quite distraught when he left. He wasn't happy about it, of course, but he knew it was the safest place, would you? But how did you run into him again? I thought I'd skip this entire region. Like it's been a huge three days. <laughs> yes, you haven't been gone long, have you? <laughs> three or four days, yeah. Maybe <laughs> five. Very well. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't tell me why you're right. It's all true. Let's go for you. I can handle myself. He may be immune to fire, but we have other ways. Don't hurt him. I just found him. <laughs> Very well. Smile across his face. Your bear was doing nicely. Whatever you're doing, continue. These people, they seem all right for us, the sort. No protectors, but they're doing good. To be this, you only have to call. Goodbye, dear. And he falls backwards out of the window, turning into a wall. <laughs> Such edginess. <laughs> Alana! <laughs> You're up late at night working away, and then you just hear in your head. I can't even remember, I'm trying to say because it's so long. <laughs> <laughs> in, in your head, just give me two seconds of getting to your uh, notes. Terrible daughter. <laughs> <laughs> My chief name is. I was going to say your name. 
Alana and Sarah with Bella and Miss McLaren. Yeah. Do, I was like, I'm do you have that written down so I can read that out? In... It's, on the, it's on the BNB. Oh, I think I've written it. I've got it here. Oh, parents of Dina and Wilson. Well, if you just hear in your head, in a very, very angry tone, Alana Estero Verolo Mitharan, what have you done? We are getting a note about you joining some adventuring company and adventuring around causing a ruckus. Um. We have... <laughs> Sending again. <laughs> we have people talking. The other noble houses are sending me messages like, oh, your daughter is sending again. Your is out shooting people. Why do I feel this like the repeater like that Harry Potter thing? Yeah. Like they're <laughs> screaming. Yeah. It's just no, sending, no. sending and sending and sending and sending. Your <laughs> mama is angry. You can't even get a word in before she's sending the next one. Then she girl. stops. You reply to her. I'm just going to wait like a minute. I'm more coming through. It's like you answer me right now. <laughs> I'm old enough. I'm safe. It's okay. Send. <laughs> Very well. But please look after yourself. We are worried about you. I'm going to be the one character with a non traumatic background. Any <laughs> <laughs> re decent relationship with my parents? <laughs> Um, no, I'll, I'll say thank you and I'll be like, right, this is where I'm staying, if you need, but please don't interfere. Your mother's just using all yeah. of her spell slots for the night, so. <laughs> yeah. Very well. We'll be there in the morning. <laughs> no, please don't do that. Oh, God. And no <laughs> reply. <laughs> <laughs> How did I... <laughs> yeah, <that's good. laughs> Good evening comes, you all get a wonderful night's sleep in your new, in your new, uh, new house. I'm not just going to do it because I'm going to make it. You wake up in the morning and downstairs in this big floppy cowboy hat, with gold chains all up her and like a new tattoo from somewhere, is Nixo just sitting there like, Hi. Back. Yay! Yay. Yeah, I'll get her to elaborate in that. I might get her in for a little bit every now and then if I can get the, the baby away. But yeah, having her it's out a little bit longer is a bit much. In the morning, you're all having a breakfast, catching up with her. And then next thing, coming down, down the stairs from Molotar's room, because unfortunately the teleportation circle is there are two older, well-dressed high elves it's walking down, looking at the place. I believe she's in good company here. She's like, oh, please. It's brand new to you. It's nice. <laughs> Walk down the stairs. Like, Alana, dear! I'm like that plain one. <laughs> Look at your parents. Because <laughs> <laughs> they can just turn up when they're with it. You made them with I'm like 200 and something. And they're treating you like a teenager. Wasn't there like 500 and something? <laughs> I Probably know. over, yeah, like 500, 600 years. Minimum. They come in and uh, Lord Black comes runs up. Oh, I've been bells. Um, uh, you must be the Mithavaran. So uh, we've heard a lot about you. Please, please come through. Like, no, we're here to see your daughter to make sure she is safe. They come over and they start just reeling over you. Dear, have you been eating well? You haven't been getting into trouble. What's this mark here? Did you get shot? Did you get eaten? What's happening? <laughs> this place is horrid. We were here years ago. It was much nicer. We're getting it back to nicer. I'm just going to ignore the prodding and yeah. pricking in. Your mother's like falling in the like, My baby. Where's this happening? It's happening. Yeah, like, you're like all oh, looking like this is a common hall thing. Yeah, you're all just sitting there having breakfast as this is happening. I'm gonna be like, oh, these are my parents. Oh my god. Oh. 
Yeah. And they go, yeah, and chops. Yeah, yeah, I'll shake hands. I'll shake hands. I'll be. Yeah, I'll be. They go to shake your hand, but you're a bit dirty, so they're like. Oh, yeah, I'm already like just. They're lucky that they're clothes and their ears. Yeah, you're actually quite nice. It's like, have you been bathing every day, dear? Most. That's better than most, yes. Good. Some. Occasionally. One. None of us said anything about. You just standing there looking at them like. No, I mean, like, they go, like, have you been safe or something? We don't go, oh, do you remember the jab is? That was a dangerous thing. You you want to. <laughs> no, 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 like, was like, oh, that one. Then I'll, then I'll see you. I'm like, no, okay, yeah, no, right, parents. I'm one of those. He's a family man. Sam and safe company. He's looking at him, looking up and down. And the, the, the dad is like, are you looking <laughs> after my daughter? No, that's racist. <laughs> Can I? He's from the north. <laughs> Can I, can I mock him back? Yes. <laughs> no. I, do I need to roll for that? Performance. Why did you remember? It's racist. <laughs> they're not racist. I know. They're, 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 uppity. Got, they're uppity and they have the only orcs they've ever known are the ones Fourteen. that pretty much blew up. <laughs> Fourteen. Yeah. So he doesn't get it. He's like, oh, oh you understand. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just you not emba- embarrassed next to myself and I'm stroking. Adding him as I'm drawing him. These people in the North Chain. It's amazing. <laughs> well, dear, if you are fine, you are fine too. The home's always open for you and your friends. I just thought I'd come and check on you. Please, write to us more. Your mother is worried sick. And she's just like, yes, sir. Yes, please, 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 just write she to us more. She has to me like some spells or something. <laughs> Darling, you chose to do this tinkering thing. If you want to come, we can enter you into the magisterium. No, 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 no. We get you a great education. You can become a fully fledged wizard. <laughs> I'm not very good at academics. You're an elf. We'll just throw you out. It may take a few centuries, but you'll be fine. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else adding anything in, or can I just get them to leave? Yeah. I'm just there, there going, yes, friend. <laughs> I've just been sitting there sneering the entire time. Well, it's nice meeting you, and they shake the little one's hand. He's like, bowing, bowing, and they go back up, and then you hear a pop, and they're gone. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm I'm sorry. One person dealing with tra- trauma, another guy just blew his old mate's head off, <laughs> another guy dealing with buddy spiders in his head, and here you are, your mum's just come and like fretted over you. Probably like braided her hair. I'm going to be slightly going, you should really talk to people. <laughs> I'm gonna go on the kitchen chief. I'm gonna pitch a chief specifically on the sending way and be like, make sure you bathe every day, Alana. <laughs> yeah, for the rest of the campaign you get to <laughs> I have to give you something. It's pretty good. Oh. Black oh, Moss, a little Black Moss, he sits down. Yeah, so just before I do anything as well, um, I have a bit of chalk on myself. I hope I can make a slight of hand or something like that to do it. But um, can I try and quickly in Thieves can write uh, like Mama's Girl <laughs> on the back of her clothes <laughs> in Thieves can? Just for no yeah, other reason. Yeah, yeah. 26. Let me tell you. Like if I get take that, I was just going to be like, yeah, can I pass Thunderway from the second level? So I, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna write mum. I'm just gonna write mum as little girl in thieves' camp mm-hmm. in chalk on the back of mum. The little black boss he sits down with you and he's like, "Well, <laughs> lovely family." That's my boyfriend. Down to business. Uh, Be hoot and co. Very and hoots. <laughs> um, <laughs> Be hoot and co. Like have a made a formal song. document. <laughs> We are now the only adventure company working properly out of Rimka. I've actually got some good demand here. 
But the most pressing matter here, funnily enough, is these pirates working out of Mantle. It's so boring. Okay, so you say you bring you so he's brought that up, right? Yes. Alright, can I can I slightly need to go as much as that pressing? There's something happening in my village. Okay, well we can make that work. We need if we're going to make this town work, we're gonna need the, the numbers of my village. We know how to help build stuff I do. We need the numbers here. And from what I have read from my letters from that. Things going down there, and it's not going to be good. Okay, very well. Um, how, got... how many pirates? Uh, oh, dead. Um, there is a. Uh, what my notes here? He's looking through. And there is a self-proclaimed pirate king. Oh, yes, um, Horatio Hornigold. Like, I mean, yeah, the king of the pirates. Uh, the city has wards, yeah, there has a big fleet. But they, these pirates are getting brazen. They're taking ships left, right, and center. <laughs> Funnily enough, they're not killing crews, they're sending them back. How many of the, 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 uh, the army opposed to them? Yes, they defend themselves, but they're taking ships. They're getting bigger, more brazen. I think uh, King Henry wants an audience himself. That's a big deal. But obviously, family does matter. Um, but I suppose, looking at the map, it brings out the map of really tell. You travel up to your village, get that checked out, maybe send them back down here quite quickly. You can move on to Mantle, back through, well, down the Bile Way or down the river. Does it sound good? I am. Yes, if we are. Uh... The only problem is, it looks at you. Travel north or towards Mental, and you have to travel through your old fleet. I mean, he's like invisible most of the time. Actually, I could cast invisibility on you. Every day. Yeah. I... All day, every day. Is there a way to detour around? It's not close me now. Unless you they want know, to go down know, the, with, the, the Colchier Empire. Yeah, not normal. Could be the edition. There's always, um, we could always petition the Magisterium, they're quite close to Mantle, it may teleport you. It will cost us some money, we don't really have much in our pockets right now. Uh, uh, we can sort I of do have matters with the Magisterium. Oh, oh busy, That's... busy, busy, aren't we? I mean, I could, I could see if my parents could assist with that. Oh, yes, or they can I come really and go here as they please. But I can't. So they could probably get you to Mantle quite quickly. Alana, but, they yeah. probably don't like my kind. Oh, I'm just not going to tell them what you are. You're just going to be some guy that we found at the keep. They probably know about me, though. Yeah, but we're just cool. Well, that's the old family thing. Face just, them you balls, push aren't you? it under the rug and it comes back up, and then you just push it under more. <laughs> With your new face models, are you? They actually blend in like mouse. And can you? And as he looks at you like a, a look of envy. <laughs> we can make this happen for you. You don't have to die. Uh, I've lived a long and prosperous life. Helm has called me in. I'm a man of my, of my family. I would like to stay, but my devotion to my God is my, my life. I should ask for your permission then. Your permission. Will your God have any use of your remains Stop after your soul has God. left? Not even out of it yet. Have you brought your skeletons out at all in the keep? They're not out yet, no. He looks at you and matter-of-factly sternly is like, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> I asked permission. And I'm just stating, no. 
So, there's a few options, each with peril, each with missions. Which do you wish to do first? Uh, well, Manitou can hold its own for a bit, so we go up first. Yeah, well, Yaga's already said, yeah, we'll go no, Yaga. I will be pushing for my family and yeah, go to the village and sort it out. Hmm. Yeah, well, people this way. Well, if you go north, sort out your family business. I can then let Myrtle know that travel up to Dark Bug Village and he looks and say, it's probably two weeks. Yeah, that way. You'll probably be gone a month there. I could probably say you're, you've got prior engagements. I'll let them know. Um, but please, hurry up there, hurry back. We can contact your mother and father and see if they can expedite your procedure over to Mantle. Then, from there, you could travel up to the Magisterium. I feel like that is the, the easiest point of call, as he marks it on the map. What say you? Is this to help Yagnar's family? Yeah. yeah. Would this be going north that's still in risk of going through my... Unfortunately, yes. Unless you want to travel again through the Vale, deal with whatever's there, you can go back down to uh, uh, Fort Kane. You will have to go up through where I believe you were born, my friend. Go up to Tripath and head north. I believe that's the way you came down. So, Fred, today I know you were just doing this. This is. If we are doing this, we will have to be careful. We will all be known now. Lord Black will say, I'd suggest making, if we are doing this, I would suggest making it as well known as possible that we are going a completely different direction. Why don't we just go <laughs> through the Star Because they won't go in there. You can. You will have to deal with um, more of the things you've dealt with before. Just because then it avoids it completely. Yeah. The further into the Vale you go, the worse off the things you're running. I do still have friends on the way, mm. on the way through, and some contacts that maybe I would help us. We would just have to be We've got careful. One okay. issue though. One through. thing you would know about the Vale, quickly, um, carry on the black. Very uh, large black dragon lives to the north of the bay. Likes to come in fire. Yeah, there's black dragon there. I was going to say, what's the other thing too? Is if we're going to send my people back through, do it all. That could be dangerous going through um, their eyes. It's taking a bunch of people through the valley would be like suicide. Yes, go to the valley. Like, either way, we've got danger for the people. So mm -hmm. we may even have to. Have Who's going to be stop. part of the fight? This bad guy or a dragon? The, the dragon's a bad choice. The, bad, <laughs> the, the dragon's a bad choice. I'm saying we might need a pit stop. We might even have to address what's happening. Between. I'll be uh, doing a, a quick look into that dragon over the course of the next coming months. That is a threat we will need to deal with later on. Well. Yeah. Through, through my neck of the woods to Agnar's family. I'll say you're travelling Let... south by boat towards Myrtle. You'll be there in a month and a half. That will throw anyone off your trail for a little bit. Holy bandits send... can't be too dangerous compared to a black dragon. Come on, Deadeye. Yeah. Well, it did state that this is now like a. I just see him condescendingly young. And <laughs> just making fun of you. You remember you took me to that strip club? I haven't forgotten. <laughs> and if you're any fun, then you might not. You might have aged a little bit without the creepy, stabby magic. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Game on. We're all, Game's on. Yeah, we're, we're all in danger, but, but excellent. We'll do it. 
Very well. I'll send the word out. Be safe, friends. Whatever a thousand words for immense sensation. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a big setup for this one. You gather your supplies and with your travelling gear, you walk out the door and out sitting there now with a nice little little uh, white cloak on is a large owl bear. With a little white cloak on? Yep. <laughs> with the symbol of Helm on his back. He's like, Amrock says, I, I think he insisted he wants to go with you. He's he is not enough for this. Sorry, you're being... Is he a cleric of Helm? He is now. <laughs> he, 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 the Barry's myth has not been in many of our ventures, and I see he's missing us. We definitely need all the help we can get, especially with this big cutie. <laughs> anyway, anyway, before, so let's, let's do this. Excellent. And with that, can I write up a 10 day of Barry who's going to leave for anyone that may have come for all the posters that I've left in Carnival or anything that, uh, the Honourable um, Dr. B. M. Hoot um, has left to travel the lands for between to increase his vast psychiatric knowledge and that anyone seeking out his <laughs> this is the very healing, poster. healing powers. So is he going on a holy pilgrimage? It's, it's, yeah, he's pretty much going on a holy pilgrimage. This um, is like his mecca. And he's leaving everything <laughs> yeah, there. And anyone, that want, anyone that wants to be um, part of the pretty much essentially anyone that wants the healing words of Dr. Hoot um, should toil away um, and help rebuild this beautiful town. Oh, I'm going to just try and start a cult, Barry. <laughs> but any, like, a cult. You know, all the people that are like, I'd like to post this around everywhere. Like, well, we're going Jared level. You shit. have a, you have a horse, horses and carts, so you don't have to walk. Barry Hoot will run along next to the cart. Your little Scooby-Doo gang. Holy hell, we love Scooby Doo now. Yeah, you have your fucking animal mascot, and there's a bunch of you. Can Take I start off. racing very good. I just, mean, there's two girls, but three guys. Yeah, they could really. Well, three girls. Next up is there. Oh, oh, yeah, if she's sorry. not back, I, I will, I will continue to play it if she can get mm-hmm. back. Because I don't want to miss out on too well, much. How big is Barry Hoot to me? Is he quite good size? All right, can I just start? Can I ride very Yeah, you can ride a bit. You can yeah. be a mount as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll ride. Um, <laughs> and you head off on your next adventure, heading down to Fort Kane and up towards Dark Blood Village. And we'll leave it there, guys. Well, thank you for watching. We are taking a short hiatus due to these two idiots going to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> but that gives me enough time to prepare a shit ton of orcs, a shit ton of bandits, and a shit ton of wizards. So, and you, yes, we'll have a miniature for the guy in the next Yay. coming game, oh. and then I hopefully a guy. miniature for fucking cannon. Wait, does, oh, yeah. does uh, Molza get a new miniature now? Because he's, oh. he's changed. Oh, yeah. He had a young man. Oh, Strap maybe. <laughs> I have to go buy one. one. I think I can make the game on Heroforge or? On Heroforge or, or, or Elder Chantrix. I highly recommend those two if you have any miniatures done, 3D prints. Do I have to make it personal? Hmm. Well, we thank you again for watching this. I hope you like this giant law dump where I freaking <laughs> melted everyone's brain. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That, that I have been garage. waiting so long for this game. I've had this plan for so long. <laughs> I'm going to admit, the garage stuff really just... And we shall see you in a few weeks. Yeah.